Crime Investigators, what's the creepiest unsolved case you investigated? I'm a cop but this isn't my case. The FBI believes that over nearly two decades a trucker or multiple truckers have been killing women and dumping their bodies along their routes. In 2004 an FBI wonk notices a trend of bodies being dumped along a commercial trucking route in the south and submits it to a crime tracking database. Texas analyst picks it up and they find dozens of identical cases. No leads to this day. No suspects. No convictions. Not a crime investigator, but I had a good buddy that went missing in a cornfield when he was a two-year-old kid, back in 80 or 81. Literally thousands of volunteers came out to help search the fields and land around his farm for two days, but he was nowhere to be found. They even brought in a psychic, his parents were so desperate. On the third day he was finally found, quite some distance from where he disappeared. His parents still think to this day that he was abducted, but because of all the media attention and people searching for him, the kidnappers returned him, pretty much just dropping him off and hightailing it out of there. In high school I knew a girl through mutual friends in our very small town. She was a freshman and I was a senior. The story goes she was walking home around 1 a.m. from a community of trailers about three miles from town and before leaving called her mom for a ride, mom was a drug addict and refused to come get her. She never made it home. Five to six years later I return home from the military and see a newspaper article. Her remains were found wrapped in barbed wire in a canal. The crazy part is that it had to be a local. I know this because where they found her body was a popular swimming spot in the community and was miles from town and on the completely opposite side of town from where she was the night she went missing. No one swims there now and the whole thing is largely forgotten by the community with the exception of those who went to school with her. Worked in forensics 2004 to 2008, mostly assaults, homicides, and cold cases. Never forgot one where a baby was abused because a burglar threatened to kill the entire family if the parent didn't do it. Wasn't solved before I left and nothing came up on Google. The idea that someone out there free is that ducked up or that someone would make that shit up is so disturbing to me. Back in the early 80s a 16-year-old boy was walking home from a party about a mile from his house when he was intentionally hit by a vehicle and dragged by the vehicle before being dumped in front of his house for his father to find his body in the morning. The police say they have suspects but not enough evidence to make any arrests. There are still posters all over the town and surrounding areas with his picture asking for information more than 35 years later. Really a tragic story that needs closure. In a town close to me, a few years ago a little boy went missing. He was in a foster home with his siblings. There was apparent previous reports from neighbors of them wandering off frequently because they were left alone without food breaking into garages I think. He was reported missing by the foster mom, she went on TV and everything. There were so many search parties, we live in the desert so there's a lot of open land. I stopped hearing things about it, eventually I asked one of my buddies who works in the PD and he told me they never got any real answers, they found remains years later that they believed to be his in a canal, but it had been so long not much was left, also they think wild animals had probably spread what was left of the remains around after all these years. Two girls in their 20s round murdered and ate their car. McDonald's food in their laps. Windows up. Doors locked. No sign of a struggle. Was my last case I ever worked. Three years ago. No suspects have been arrested. I was an investigator for the medical examiner. My job was to document facts. Not solve the crime. Local law enforcement is responsible for the solving. The Molly Bish case. A 16-year-old girl was dropped off for work at the lake where she was a lifeguard by her mom. She was never seen alive again. This happened in the summer of 2000 in a small town in central Massachusetts, about 30 minutes from where I grew up. I remember seeing missing person signs all over local business looking for Molly, when I was a kid. At my first apartment, someone was stringing up dogs in the trees behind houses with their throats cut and bled dry. Serial killer behavior. Obviously just killing them to kill them. Worked on that case a couple weeks, but after four or five dogs, it just stopped and my bosses wouldn't let me work on it anymore with all the real crime going on. I still think it was a future serial killer practicing. I don't work in crime investigation anymore. I do animal rescue. 
but we kept receiving animals found stray that had been sexually abused with sticks and we had to take them in, help them recover and find new homes. It happened for two years straight then nothing. He's either dead, locked up or moved on to humans. Police have DNA but no one has ever been caught or linked to it. The case of William Tyrrell. A little boy who went missing in 2014. The case is still unsolved. Everyone in Australia knows him as the Spider Boy, because he was wearing a little Spider-Man onesie at the time of his disappearance. No one knows what happened to him. Hinterkaifeck murders 1922 Germany. Creepy sounds in a barn and an entire rural family is slaughtered including a maid who had just arrived. Evidence at the scene showed that the killer had stayed in the home for several days, lit a fire, and fed the animals. Nothing valuable was taken. My father was a police officer some time ago. While in school his platoon was called with every other policeman in region. A kid was missing. They were looking for him for quite some time, yet they did not found him. He was supposed to be somewhere in small forest near the town he was living in. Kid just sunk. After some time people would contact police and say that kid was seen almost 500 kilometers away, alone. They had many suspects but all got their alibi. The case was open for almost 20 years and was closed like 10 years ago. Diao Aking went missing about a decade ago and was found in boxes, it is estimated that she was cut up into around 2,000 pieces, when they put her back together they were missing a heart, spleen and liver. My personal theory is black market organ transplants, to sell or to use I don't know, maybe to sell because the heart sells for around $1 million USD on the black market. Girl went missing, pregnant at the time, 36 weeks. Police interviewed everyone, the boyfriend the other boyfriend, friends, mother, neighbors, etc. A body was found almost a year and a half later, on a shed. Not 100 yards from her house, the killer tied her up, and buried her alive, all the while she was on labor, then covered her with concrete. When found, the baby was halfway trough the birthing canal, head already out. Case is still ongoing, they have a suspect but there is still a couple of years away from anything concrete. My friend's mom is a lawyer and she was involved in a case where a teenage girl was assaulted and murdered in the woods outside a small town with a military base nearby. The person who did it was never found but a teenage boy was wrongly imprisoned for a few years. There are conspiracy theories that a military officer did it and the government covered it up. There was a girl in my high school marine biology class that sat opposite my seat. She was pregnant. We were all so fascinated by her experience, and each day she'd share something new with us that changed like I felt the baby kick, etc. I once asked her if her boyfriend was excited about the baby and I'll never forgot how her face changed. She suddenly got so sad and said something like no, he's not really happy about it. She had the baby and then one day she wasn't in class. Then another, and several more. It was a small town so we knew something wasn't right as no one had heard from her. She went to a grocery store in the early evening with her baby. They found her minivan in the parking lot with the van door open and her purse and keys inside. She and the baby were gone and have not been seen since. This really rocked our small town. A guy driving through my town jumped out of his car randomly and has been missing ever since. The story still gives me goosebumps, to my knowledge he slash his remains haven't been found. So him and two buddies are in the car driving from Florida to Greensboro, North Carolina they stopped off in Benson, North Carolina off 95 and the guy driving just stopped in the street off the highway, got out and started running, allegedly. No explanation why, they allegedly were not even traveling to people they knew in Benson. Really really strange and scary for such a small town, everyone knows everyone and nothing scary or inexplicable like that happens. They searched for him for a long time and nothing ever came up. Early 80s in my hometown. A 17-yo girl was home alone studying while her parents were out. Mom and Dad come home around 10 p.m. to find the girl is gone, nothing seems amiss until Mom opens the closet door to find her daughter half-naked and dead, she was assaulted and choked to death. Happened in a quiet suburban community, nice neighborhood. Since we never had a crime of that magnitude the state police were called in to investigate, which they did for quite some time resulting in no suspects, no leads. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.